I'd like to get some gas. Let it cool off a bit. So how far is the next town? 20 miles. Petrol's a penny a gallon cheaper there. You think you can make it? Oh, yeah. But I'll bet the service isn't as good, huh? Huh? <laughs> Good-looking chickens. Ah, uh, chicken. Check under the bonnet for you. Oil, water, battery, swell. <laughs> Hiya, sweetheart. Nice little place you got here. What do you got that's good? Take your chances. Not much of a salesman, are you? I ain't selling nothing. You want a sandwich? You can have one. Ham or cheese. Cheese is from a month ago. Ham's from last Christmas. Got any fruit? Pineapple or peaches? I'll have a pineapple. You want tea? It's a penny for the first cup. Sure, why not? Good. It's all in the way you open the tin. Having trouble with her car. No, I'm just filling up the tank. Petrol's a penny a gallon cheaper at Dealey's. I know. Sam don't make money selling petrol. It's repairs where he gets them. Bloke gets stuck out here, he really gets stuck. You from America? You could tell, huh? What are you doing here? Working. Seen the sights. Not much work these days. Not much to see either. Depends on who's doing the looking. Where are you going? Windsor, maybe. See the king. Maybe Hollywood. What for? Thinking of being a film star? Maybe. Going to Windsor for Silver Jubilee, is that it? Like I said, maybe Windsor, maybe Hollywood, maybe both. I met another American once, a fellow by the name of Tex Bernard. An odd name, I thought. Do you know him? What's your name? Duke. Duke of what? Not Duke of what. Duke Turnbow. Turnbow? How would you spell that? T-U-R-N-B-E-A-U. It's French. Mine's Rosie. Rosie of what? Rosie of none of your business. We ain't getting married, you know, just introduced. Do you want more tea? Second cup doesn't cost anything. Can't stand to pass up a bargain. Ever been there before, to Windsor? No. I thought about going to London once, more than once. So what's keeping you? You married that old man out there? Just work for him, huh? That's what you want to call it? What do you call it? Slave labor. So why do you stick it out? Your chicken to leave? Lucky enough to have it. And I'll leave when I'm good and ready. If you're ready to leave, it's ten pence. How do you figure? Eight pence for the pineapple and two teas. I thought the second cup was on the house. I guess I changed my mind, didn't I? Yeah. 
Guess maybe I will, too. You see that? That was gonna be your tip. Got bad news for you, mate. Manifold gaskets blown. That ain't so bad by itself, but they're... You also got a leak in the cab, right? Or... So? Ah, oh, well, that's why you have to keep your eye on it. All you need is for one drop of petrol to connect with a spark coming through the space in that gasket and... How? Up she blows. Well, I'll tell you, partner. I've had this old truck ever since I got it. And she's been a good old friend. So I don't think I'm going to start doubting her just now. Know what I mean? As you like her. We was just cautioning you. It's up to you and it. Er, need a quart of oil. We'll add up what you owe. Seven gallons, that's uh, 13 and fourpence, plus uh, one and two for the oil, that's uh, 14 and sixpence. Just so you know, I, I could do the motor work for a quid. Tell you what, pal, I got places to go and people to meet. Take care of them chickens, huh? Where do you think you're going? Far as I can. Just like that, huh? What else? Well, you might ask. All right. I'm asking. Hey! Can we go now? What do you mean, can we go? Hey! What the bloody hell's going on? When do you think you're going? You get out of that lorry. What's going on between you two? I'm leaving with him. That's what's going on. Leaving? You get out of there before I give you a right back out of here. Uh, now, just hold on a minute. You keep out of this between her and me. You got no chains on me. You don't own me. Chains? I won't notice. What do you think I'm going to do if somebody comes in here wanting a meal? Go in there and put on a bloody apron. I'll leave you one of me dresses to wear if it'll make you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, wait a minute. Now, you can't do that. Yeah. Too bad, chicken fucker. Exactly, little orphan Annie. Who's she? Forget it. Just an expression. Meaning what? Meaning nothing. She's a comic strip. In the papers. Funny little short kid with orange curly hair and a dog. And you think I'm like her? I said you weren't like her. What's different? Look, just forget it, will you? Can't explain it to you. You read the comics. 
You don't have to read the comics just to know who Little Orphan Annie is. Oh, then how would you know? You just know, that's all. If you're an American, you just know. You smell something funny. Like what? What do you see? He said your motor's on fire. Oh. So? <sighs> Two days. Two days? All right, then. Tomorrow morning. But uh, it will cost you an extra two bob, and uh, I'll want to be paid in advance. Be ready any time after six, in case you want to leave early. And uh, there's a room over there. Three and six for the night. There she is, right there. It's Miss McCrutchett, isn't it? It's McCrutchett. You just be careful, my booty. We're here on a matter of a robbery. Now, sir, would you mind telling her just who you are? Name's Duke Turnbull. I'm an American. You guys must be making some kind of mistake. Mistake, is it? Twelve pounds have been stolen from Sam Turnwick's place. You're balmy. We didn't steal anything. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to search the room, sir. Unless you have any objections. Yeah. I object. In which case, sir, I'll have to ask you to accompany us down to the police station. She's all yours. My money. Seven, eight. I said that was my money. Nine pounds, ten shillings. That's most of it anyway. What do you do with the rest? Spend it? That's my own goddamn money. That'll be for the judge to decide. Well, now, what have we got here? How much? It's all here, like Sam said. Twelve quid. Huh. Now, you see, that proves it, right? Proves what? That that nine pound ten is my own money. Well, what I think is that Sam Turnwick made a mistake when he said how much money you took. That's what I think. Yes, I think you might be right. Oh, come on, fellas. Let's, uh, let's cut the comedy, huh? You think a charge of aiding a betting a thief is funny, do you? All I'm saying is that you got the 12 quid, right? Right. Why don't you take it? Take the girl with you if you want. Just give me back my nine pound ten. I might warn you, sir, that in this country that might be construed as an attempt to bribe a police officer. I heard that. That's another charge. 
You're right. Well, sir, do you still claim that money was yours? Or am I right in saying that the victim was in error regarding the amount of money that was stolen from his premises? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I guess I made a mistake. Well, now we're all of the same mind. I'm willing to say that once Sam Turnbull gets all his money back, I can convince him to drop all the charges. What do you think, Constable? Oh, I'd say so. Once old Sam gets his money back, he won't care. Right. Well, sir, I reckon we'll be off. Enjoy your stay, sir. Night, my dear. And remember, crime never paid. He owed it to me. Well, that doesn't have anything to do with me! And I didn't ask for any sob stories! Well, you don't have to burst me eardrums. It ain't the end of the world, you know. How the hell can you say that? I'm the one who's got to be someplace, and I'm the one who's got to be there on time. Well, that's news to me, ain't it? You never said nothing before about being in such a bloody rush. Because it's none of your damn business! Well, if it ain't none of my business, then don't blame me for what goes on! Look, I didn't bargain for this kind of thing when I took you along. So as far as I'm concerned, the deal's off, you understand? Now you can go on here and finish sleeping if that's what you want. But start tomorrow morning, you're gonna find your own way out of here. Are you gonna put this out, or should I? Oh, it's a petrol. Oh. Buy some gas. I'm pregnant. Four months. I was afraid. You might have knocked me about because of what happened last night. You might have hit me in the stomach. You could have left me back at Sam's, you know, but you didn't. There was nobody pointing a gun at you. Where'd you get the ten bob? I had it in my shoe. Now I got seven. What do you want? Work. Doing what? Whatever needs doing. Who's that? Wife. Does she work too? She's pregnant. How much? Four months. Four months what? Four months pregnant. He's asking you how much you want. Oh. Eight bob a day. Meals, a place to sleep. Four bob a day. Two meals each. You can sleep in the shed.
You want me to rub your back? How'd you get pregnant? Just somebody passing through. He got stuck, so Sam put him up for a couple of days while he mended his car. That's it? That's what? That's all there was to it? Well, that and getting into the same bed at the same time. How much do you think it'll take to get away from here? A quid. A couple takes of gas. That's three days' work plus the seven bob you already got. Two days now. Get out of here by Friday. Be where I'm headed by Sunday. Easy. Where are you going? What? Southampton is where the lorry driver said. I thought it was supposed to be to Windsor. What difference does it make to you? Oh, you're not planning to see the king. You're not planning to go to Hollywood either. What is this, some kind of investigation? You working for the cops now or what? I'm just on my way to London to see a couple of guys. That's all, no big mystery, okay? Anyway, you know some law says I can't be a movie star in London. Suppose you never heard of Douglas Fairbanks either. Douse alike. Unless you like to read the comics or something. <clears throat> Are you sure you don't want me to rub your back? You can understand that. Listen, little boy. Don't grow up to be a rotten old skinflint like your father. Ma! Oh, you stinking little sod. Ma! You owe me a day and a half's wages. I owe you nothing. You owe me six bob. He owes you nothing. I owe you nothing. What are we going to do now? I'm going back. What for? That worm owes me six bob. And 
I'm going to get it from him one way or the other. the farm. Farmer who wouldn't give me the six bob he owed me. What are you going to do with it? What will I do with it? I'm going to sell it. What do you think? But it's stolen. It's got a stamp. Well, who the hell cares about that? People are going to bed hungry from one end of this country to the other. You offer to sell them a whole cow for two quid. You think somebody's going to ask to see papers? What's the matter with you? I think I'm supposed to walk away and forget the fact that I busted my back, my back, for a day and a half for nothing? Uh, nobody walks over me. Nobody, you understand that? A man owes me money, I'm gonna get it from him one way or the other. You let a guy walk over you once, a second time, you don't even notice it. And the third time, you might as well be dead. Because there's nothing sorry other than a human being who leaves his backbone hanging in a closet. You boys, get around. Don't we now? Mm. Make yourselves at home. It's your mother's place. You mind your manners. You're not in a rodeo now. You know, you'll get four years for what you've done. <laughs> you put that in your Yankee pipe and smoke it. They can't really give us four years, can they? No, why not? For pinching a cow. Blimey, there's nobody that stinking rotten. Uh, hey, uh, you got a second? Yes? What's this about the four years, huh? What about it? Well, you can't really put two people in in a cell for four years for swiping a lousy cow. <laughs> Can't we? 
We know how to deal with gangsters over here, you know. Well, that has nothing to do with me. That'll be for the jury to decide, won't it? Uh, psst. Psst. Yeah? You can let her go at least, huh? Can we? Well, she had nothing to do with stealing the cow. And besides, she's pregnant. Pregnant, eh? Well, no. That's the one right there, Miss Shelby. The one supposed to be pregnant. What do you think you're doing? Now, just, just calm down and keep your trap shut. Both on you. You're a balmy if you think I'm going to let that old witch Now, look, Miss, you're enough trouble as it is already. I'll scratch her eyes out. If she even lays one finger on me, I swear to God I will. Go in there and subdue her. And if she tries to prevent the mates from carrying out the examination... Don't touch Stand me! Aside, please, 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 talk about this. About what, sir? Uh, Keep you your hands off of me! Desist from this Hold attack up. on me, sir! Will you kindly... Uh, <laughs> stop it, you're here and look! Tommy! Get yourself! Get round that of it! Get enough for crying out loud! Get enough! Now look! Take the little bitty out of here! No! No, you keep your hands off me, you old uh, witch! Come I on, you little bitch! You little bitch! You All right! I'm not pregnant! What do you mean you're not pregnant? I reckon she'd be having you on a merry old dance, lad. Right, mate, and come on. Oh, Fred. Don't forget your hat. Not pregnant indeed. How come you're not pregnant? Well, I ain't pregnant. Because I never was, and the only reason I ever said I was is because I had to come up with something as serious sounding as that, or you might have left me stranded out there in that woods after I stole your rotten lorry. Is that a good enough reason for you? Good enough reason? I'm driving along, minding my own business, trying to get from point A to B, having no trouble at all, until you come along. Wait a minute. I didn't just come along. You asked me along. Asked you? Well, you didn't refuse, did you? And that's asking. Well, it ain't refusing, is it? Ah, forget it. Drop it, will you? Just forget I even mentioned it. You're driving me nuts. You think I'd be asking too much if I asked you to move over and make some room for me? Thanks. Don't thank me, okay? Okay. Thanks for nothing, then. What are you gonna do now? Now I'm gonna try and get some sleep. I mean about trying to get out of here. Look. Let's just make a promise to each other, okay? From now on, you worry about your life, and I'll worry about mine. Follow me? From now on, where I go and what I do is nobody's business but mine. So, uh, we're saying goodbye, is that it? That's right, that's just it. Right here in the middle of this prison cell. What am I supposed to do? Pretend you're not here anymore. It'd help if you'd quit talking. Well, you haven't stopped answering. I can't sleep on my back. Do you mind if I turn over? I don't care what you do. Just don't make any fast moves. 
In pain. Just move slow. Well. Duke? What? I want you to know before I say goodbye that I appreciate your helping with those two coppers, even if you think I didn't deserve it. Nobody deserves nothing. They don't deserve it. your face hurt? No. Why? Well, it's killing me. <laughs> Go to sleep. Smiley! Psst. Smiley? Is that you? Who do you think is a bleeding ghost? I can't see you. Never mind that. Just listen. Who is it? Shh. How the hell did you find me? How many roads do you think they've got around here? The bus stops for petrol right in the village. How did you know I was locked up? Are you kidding? The old place is talking about the American gangster they've caught. Who's out there? Shh. Will you? Well, don't act as if it's my fault. I thought rustling cattle went out with Billy the Kid. Come on, come on. All right, keep your hair on. I've got it all worked out. The perfect plan. Now, where's your lorry? My what? Your lorry. The truck. Where is it? Oh, it, it's, it's got to be around here somewhere. You won't have to see it because you probably can smell it. Why? <laughs> Smiley. Who's Smiley? Shh. Break us out of here. Oh. Don't forget to let me know when he does it.
was still here. Oh, we're in a chain around the bars. with her? Some other time, huh? What other time? Well, I've worked it out. George and Richie probably got to London yesterday, maybe even the day before. Them and the two lorries. And we ain't handing out any free trips. So? So? Believe me, mate, there ain't gonna be two more nervous blokes than them two on this earth until we show up. The last thing we need is that. All right, take it easy, will you? I'll take care of it. Look. The way I see it, they've set up two roadblocks, one east and one west. For an escape cow thief? Very serious crime. A mate of mine got 18 months for nicking a chicken. Well, I'm not about that. I've got a plan. I'll pop back into town, pick up my new car, hop back here and pick you up. How's that gonna help me get through a roadblock? Well, I'll get a van or something. Think of some way of hiding you in the back, wait for the right time and slip through neat and clean. Gonna steal it. Steal it. Steal it? What for? I've got close to fifty quid in my pocket. You fancy her or what? See you before dark. Dump her. I got good ears, you know. I heard some of what you were saying about George and some other fella getting nervous because he wasn't there yet. Richie? Yeah, Richie. Why'd they be so nervous? It's got something to do with money, hasn't it? There's money out there, and you're all supposed to be there to get it. And if you're not there on time, you won't get it, right? What are you doing? Pension it? From where? A bank? You're a bank robber, right? 
I knew all along you wasn't planning to be a film star. You was in too much of a rush. Yeah, just like you was pregnant. At least I told you the truth when the time came. What is this, confession? The only time you told me the truth when was there was no way for you to tell me anything else. Well, why don't you do the same thing for me? Same how? Tell me the truth. What truth? Well, is it or isn't it? So that's all you are, a rotten crook. A crook? You talking to me about being a crook? Who stole the 12 quid from the guy she worked for? Tell me that, huh? He owed it to me. That and more. Yeah, just like the whole world owes me. And you don't think they do. The only one who owes me anything is that stinking farmer. And you better believe that's a six bob I'm going to collect one of these days. I'm sick and tired of hearing about the stinking farmer and the rotten six bob he owes you. If you'd stopped talking about it two days ago when you should have, we wouldn't be in half this trouble right now. Well, which one of us got us kicked out of there in the first place? Can't you blame yourself for anything? Yeah, if it's my fault. So, that's what you do for a living in America. Rob banks. It's not going to be a bank. It's a truck. An armored truck. Oh, I see. That's what you do. Rob armored trucks. Truck. One truck. You already have. Or is this going to be the first? It's going to be the first. Why are you doing it? Are you kidding me? Are you going to tell me that a million bucks means nothing to you? Oh, yeah. It means something to me. It means you're somebody I didn't think you were. And it means I'm sorry about what happened last night. Last night? You mean trying to make out like a couple of kids? Only we was beat up and behind bars instead of in the back seat of a Chevy looking out at the moon. I thought it was something. Yeah. Well, you still have a few things to learn about life. And who knows? Maybe next week I'll have time to start teaching you. Hello, officer. What's up? Afternoon, sir. No one else with you? Just a customer. Well, we better have a look. What happened? Somebody fixed the town hall? Just open up, if you don't mind, sir. Now, you say there's a corpse in here? Yes. May we have a look? Well, it's not nailed up yet. He looks fresh. Yeah, don't he just? Fresh as a daisy. Ah, well, that's the art, you see. Embalming, that's what they call it. The latest thing. You'd think he was just taking a little nap, wouldn't you? Hey, be careful. Uh, sorry, sir, no disrespect. I didn't think it would bother him. Oh! Where are you taking him, then? Oh, all the way to London, there. Uh, paid for by his loving relatives. What happened to him? He died. I know that, but what I'm asking is how. Oh, don't know. Germs, most likely. Yeah, there's millions of them crawling about everywhere. Haven't you heard? Don't like to get too personal, you know what I mean? You maul them, I haul them. That's my motto. <laughs> They're a funny kind of job you've got. It's a living.
Now, look, what about this poxy in the coffin? <laughs> Take a listen to this motor, will you? It purrs like a kitten. I thought we had an understanding, didn't we? Yeah, sure. What'd you pay for this thing? Forty-nine quid. So you can get wanted fifty, but I talked him down. <laughs> now what about this tart? Wait a minute. You mean you spent forty-nine quid on this when you knew you only had fifty? Well, why not? This wagon's worth twice that much. Hey, it's a bargain, I'm telling you. A bargain, huh? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll get me money back on this and some. Where? Where? Anywhere. See, people only die in certain places. <laughs> Buy the best, and this is what you get. Get that down. So? I've been thinking, Duke. Oh. Well, this is all I've got left. Everything, the lot. What's that? No, it's a bus ticket. Paid for all the way to London. Now, I'm going to make a suggestion. Because time's running short, mate. And what I'm suggesting is that I go to London alone. And what? Well, it's all I've got, so you take it. Yeah. Now, this ticket stood... I can go back to that village where I found you, pick up the bus tonight. All you've got to do is find a place to spend the night, in the morning, pick up a new tyre, come back here, fix it on and be on your way. Bit of luck, you'll probably be in London late tomorrow night. Meantime, I'll have talked to George and Richie, calm them down. The time you get there, you won't have a thing to worry about. And what if it don't all go that simple, huh? What then? You got any better ideas, Duke? See you in London, eh, mate? On your own. How much was it? Why? You gonna offer to pay for half? <laughs> I was just wondering if we had enough for the tire and the petrol. Tank's full already. I got enough. What happens if you don't get there on time? What kind of a question is that? I was just asking. What do you mean you was just asking? They'd count you out, wouldn't they? I mean, it's not like that's all you ever do, go around robbing banks, armored trucks. You'd probably just give it up. You'd probably just forget all about it and go and do something else. Is that what you're saying that I should do? Forget it? What if I was? Well, then I'd say you have one hell of a nerve. Let me set you straight on a few things. I haven't had much of a life, see? But six months ago, things started to change for me. I hitched a ride in a freighter. and wound up in a place called England. Pretty soon, I'm working on the docks. And I'm drinking beer in the pubs and thinking about bobs and quids instead of dimes and dollars. And I meet this guy, Smiley. He's from London, he says. He's a guy like me. He's got plans for himself. One day, Smiley comes over to me and he says, Duke, all we got to do is a little of this and that for one day only. And we'll have more money than we can count in an entire month. So for about a minute, I think it over. It's a risk, it's chancy. 
I could end up in a cell. For 10 years, maybe, maybe forever, maybe even dead in 5,000 miles from home. But it's like I was telling you before. If you want something bad enough, you go out and you get it. So here it is, Friday night. And in 48 hours, I'm going out and I'm getting it. And I'm going to start counting. And that's the way it is. So which side of the bed do you want? The cold and lumpy side? Oh, my. Where were you out last night? I'd just like to know where you're rushing to. Another bus leaves town about six tonight. Guy at the hotel told me. What good does that do? Get me to London tomorrow by noon. I'd like to know how you plan to pay for the ticket. I'll manage. Hey, 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 hey! She weigh? Seven and a half stone. Wet or dry. Hey, you always talk smart like that? Look, I've got a business to run, dear boy. How do you think my customers are going to feel after paying their hard-earned money to see the show? And it's all over ten seconds after she steps into the ring. Hey, who says it's all going to be over? Mathematics says so. <laughs> Nothing more personal than that. Look, she weighs seven and a half stone. Amazon weighs 14. You ever heard of David and Goliath? Ever heard of manslaughter? Look, I'm the one that's going to get killed, right? So it's my worry, not yours. Right. All right, if you want it so bad. One pound if she lasts for three minutes, five if she wins. Now, we supply the costume and we pay for the cleaning. What's the name? Rosie. <laughs> Rosie what? Murdering Rosie! <laughs>
for you. Uh, you got a George LaRue and a Richie Wilkie staying here? Are you the bloke they call Duke? Yep. Upstairs, sitting on the left. You got another room on the same floor? <laughs> Is she with you? So? Upstairs, sitting on the right. Thanks. We'll carry our own bags.
tell those guys I'm here. I better go down and ditch that bike before some nosy cop starts getting wise to it and asking questions. Why don't you get some sleep, huh? Why don't you be back? I won't be. Not for a while. Not till it's all over. What if you get caught? Nobody's getting caught. You think these guys are amateurs? They've been planning this thing for months. Nobody can be that certain. Uh, look, I, uh, I don't have the time to stand around here arguing with you about something you don't know nothing about. I won't be here when you get back. I said I won't be here when you get back, not if you go ahead with what you're planning to do. Why the hell did you wait till now to tell me? I was hoping you'd change your mind. No, no, wait, wait a minute here. Just wait a minute now. Now, I, I, I didn't think we were, I never figured us to be uh, Romeo and Juliet. But well, we got something, right? Huh? Not this way, we don't. Not this way! What way then? I'm asking you, what way? What have I been talking my guts out for? What have I been trying to tell you every day and every night for the past week? I don't know. What have you been trying to tell me? You don't know? No! What do I have to do to get through your head? Just tell me and I'll do it. My whole life. Everything, none of it, means, makes any sense without what's gonna happen tomorrow. Can't you understand that yet? You think that I, that I finally make it here and get everything set up? I'm just gonna walk away from it? Is that what you think? You've gotta be nuts! You know that? I mean, what are you telling me I should do? Are you saying I should go out and, and, and get a job shoveling cow pies in some farm for two bits a day? Is that it? Is that what I should swap a chance for making a million bucks? Or maybe I ought to manage Murder and Rosie. Lady Mud Wrestler, huh? Oh, you think that's all there is? You think every time somebody's down and out, he should go out and rob an armored truck? No, well, then you tell me. You tell me! No! The only thing I have to tell you is if that's the kind of life you want, then you go out and you have it. But you're not going to have it with me. Tell me one thing, will you? What do you want, huh? Is all you want the kind of life that we've been living the past week? I didn't think it was so bad. There's no one here, Rosie. Oh, you made it. The old egg told me downstairs you were here. Well, you ready? George and Richie want to meet you, talk about the plans. Where have you been to a fancy dress party? Turnbow, this is George LaRue. And this gentleman here is Richie Wilkie. Nice to meet you, Duke. Have a 
Sí. Don't believe in giving yourself much time, ain't you? Couldn't be helped. Better late than never, eh, George? Better late than never. Smiley tells us it's the first time you've done a job like this. Is that right? So? So he's asking, that's all. No, i never done a job like this before. But from what I hear from Smiley, nobody has. Yeah, that's true, yeah. First time in history ten Maharajas have been in this country at one time. Right, George? You're not worried, are you, Duke? No, I'm not worried. Are you? Hey. You got a chip on your shoulder or what? It's just a bit edgy, that's all, Richie. He's been driving all day and half the night. Right, Duke? What are you all of a sudden, this keeper? Look, let's just get on with it, okay, Richie? Yeah, go ahead. I just never liked no stranger walking in on me with a chip on his shoulder. Look, he's already said it's his first time. The guy's entitled to be a little edgy. Wasn't you? Edgy I can buy, but nasty I got no use for. We're talking about a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Silver Jubilee. A million quid. Ten Maharajas that are gonna find out tomorrow night they don't even have one bleeding ruby to stick in their navels. <laughs> I think you're the one who's nasty. I said, I think you're the one who's nasty. Come on, Joe. What's the matter with you? <laughs> no, no, wait. I want to hear this. Well, that all you got to say? No, one more thing. Cut me out. You quit now, you're a dead pigeon. No, oh, I ain't. The hell I am. Just stop right where you are, mate. Do what he says, Duke. He's got a gun. All right, sit down. It's his girl, Richie. He's got himself a girl. Oh, I should have seen it coming two days ago. She's got him all twisted and turned. He don't know if he's, he's asked from his elbow. Oh, he'll be all right, though. He'll be okay. Yeah? Is that right? I said, is that right? I said, I'm out. Nah, nah. You ain't her. Maybe you're dead. But you ain't hard. Me and George and Smiley here, we spent two months planning this job. Isn't that right, George? You know it is, Richie. Isn't that right, Smiley? Four's the magic number, Duke. It ain't if one of them's dead. Smiley? Yeah, Richie? Who's this dame? Oh, you keep her out of this, Smiley. Smiley? Yeah, Richie? She's upstairs. Do you, do you want me to get her? Lay off, Smiley. Now, you listen to me, lover boy. Like it or not, you're in this all the way. George. Yeah, Richie. Get the girl. We're taking her with us. Now! Nah. And Smiley, you make sure your friend here understands one thing real good. If he opens his mouth once more, tries anything smart, or he mucks it up. His lady friend gets it first. Understand? Understand, Smiley? Yeah, Richie. I understand.
Get out. Keep your hands up and your eyes down. All right, now keep moving off the road and don't turn around. Give me the keys. Shut your bleeding mouth. Get over there with the others. George, get over there. Come on, you. Over here. Move it. Smiley, back it up. Back it up. You, get in there and get it off the rails. What's the problem, Duke? Come get us started. Duke! Duke! We're not going to lose it now. We've got it all. Look at the train, Duke. Look at the train. What does he want? Ask him what he wants. A bigger share. OK, you can have it. Can you hear me? You can have it. All of it. Just get it off those rails. Get the girl. He said he wants the girl. What, has he gone crazy? Does he think I'm going to give him the girls that can take her the money as well? Never. Not on your stinking life. Never. 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 Take it easy. Take it easy. You're going to lose it all. You've got to take a chance, mate. Well, you're going to lose it all, believe me. Christ, he ain't gonna stay in there. Is it worth a million quid to find out? Okay, okay, get the girl. Bring her over here, make it fast, you understand? <laughs> you see this, Duke? You see this? It's your move now, lover boy. And if you move wrong, I swear to Christ, I'll put one in her. All right, now move it off. Let her go. What? I said, let her go. I'll kill her right now. Let's do as he says, Richie. We've got no other choice. Yeah. What if he makes off with all of it? Do what you want, but do something. We haven't got any time to argue. All right, let her loose. <laughs>
Hoist day, sir. Look out, look out, look out! Oh! 